Here we're going to be creating a system based on word problems. As you are reading through the word problem, be sure to underline any key facts or ideas that you think you might need in order to create your system. So here Miguel bought a pair of pants and two shirts for $20. His friend Carlos bought two pairs of pants and a shirt for only $19. Carlos calculated that each pair of pants would cost $6.25. Do you agree? In this case, whenever you are starting to write out a system of equations, you do need to let the reader know what variables you will be using. With this, we are going to write a let statement. So let X represent the price of pants and let Y represent the price of shirts. Now let's start writing our two equations. Our first equation is going to be based on Miguel. For a pair of pants, we're going to represent that by X. For two shirts, it's going to be plus 2y, and he spent $20, so it's going to equal 20. For equation number two, it will represent Carlos. Two pairs of pants is 2x, and a shirt is 1y, or just y, and he spent $19, so it's going to equal to 19. Here, we can solve our system by elimination. So if we multiply the first equation by negative 2, we will get negative 2x minus 4y is equal to negative 40. Add the two equations together so that the x variables cancel, and we will be left with negative 3y is equal to negative 21. In order to get y is equal to 7. Once we substitute the y value into our original equation, we will get x equaling 6. Therefore, I disagree with Carlos because the pants can only cost $6 based on this scenario.